Hello. This video describes how to use injection templates in BMC network automation. In this video I'm going to be talking about how to use injection templates in BNA. This video builds on an earlier one that I did on how to create a REST-based device adapter in BNA. So if you haven't seen the earlier one, you need to watch that one first in order for this to make sense. Injection templates are a new feature in version 8.7 of BNA, and they're a way to allow you to push out changes to a REST-based device. This is something we previously could only do by writing custom Java code for the device adapter in question. So um, the first thing we need to do is enhance the adapter we wrote last time. So let's take a look. Um, what I've done is taken the, the existing adapter and added entries to it to specify that we're now supporting merge for this adapter for the running config trail. And then I've implemented the copy net to running command. But all that it's doing in this copy net to running command is um, it has this new tag called inject template. And what that does is if you're doing a, a merge or deploy to active operation to push out a template to the device, the content of the template is extracted at runtime and used to replace this inject template tag on the fly in the HTTP device command being executed. So it'll be um, the XML interactions within the template will be interpreted on the fly and allow therefore the template author to specify miscellaneous REST API logic that he wants to be executed on the fly to effect his changes. So um, in our example um, what we're going to do is cook up an injection template that adds a new customer to the device's customer database. And if we go back to the um, REST client we were using to originally inspect the uh, online database. Um, and we fetch the contents of a particular customer. This is the type of content that we're going to need to push out to create a new customer. So let's do that as an example using just the, the REST client initially here. So we're going to do a post um, and we need to give it a new ID. Let's give it 999. And then um, see if it got pushed out there. Yeah, so here's the new customer that we pushed out there. Um, so this is the type of content that we're going to need to embed this post request within our injection template. Uh, let me go back and delete that customer so that uh, we can add it now via our injection template through the BNA server. Um, <clears throat> so earlier I created the content for my injection template here. So here is the customer tag that we're going to push out. The only difference is that I've parameterized the actual values for the data attributes rather than hard coding them. Um, they are guarded here with a C data uh, enclosure to uh, escape the XML syntax here that's embedded within an overall HTTP interaction that has the specifics for how to post this request. So this is the content that I then added to a template earlier 
called Create Customer. And here it is, the exact same content. I When I created this, I made sure to flag this as an injection template so it gets special treatment while it's being pushed out to the device so that it its contents get substituted into the device interactions being executed. So now we're ready to actually execute a merge job to try and push this template out or deploy to active. If I put in some values here And then I submit that job. It'll take it a minute to run here. So it succeeded. And here's the deploy to active where it posted the request to add the customer. And then it does a trailing snapshot. Um, and if we look at the latest running config, we should see our yeah, our new entry in there. So there you have an example of injection templates.